Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, just this last weekend was the uh, UK Open um, Sudoku and Puzzle Tournaments and I was unfortunately unable to attend in the end. I had planned to go but I couldn't. Um, it sounds like it didn't matter in terms of qualifying for the um, UK team as the top two places went to David McNeil and Tom Collier and they were within nine points of each other. Now, getting within nine points of David McNeil is a phenomenal achievement, and I don't think I'd have managed that. So congratulations to David, obviously, to Tom also for getting that close, to Jens Verena, who turned up from the Czech Republic and won the event at a canter, apparently, solving all but one Sudoku throughout the whole tournament, which is an astonishing feat. Um, what I'm going to have a do now, I've been sent the puzzles, and I'm going to have a look at a puzzle called Between 1 and 9 Sudoku. Um, now, there's some additional rules in this. As you can see, there are some numbers around the grid. And as you can see from the rules, you have to place 1 to 9 once each into every row, column, and bold line box. So far, so normal. But then additionally, the numbers outside the grid give the sum of all the numbers that are between one and nine in the respective row or column. So where nine and one appear in the row or column, there'll be some numbers between them adding up to the number on the outside. So that's quite strange. Well, it's not a, it's not a variant I'm used to solving at all. But let's have a look at some of these numbers. Now there's a zero down here. That must mean that nine and one are next to each other in that row. Um, doesn't tell us much more than that. Four is a very small number. That can't be made up of two numbers because that would be a one and a three between a one and a, a one and a nine. So there'd be two ones in the same row. So where you see a four, it must be one four nine or nine four one in that row and this column. Um, same goes for a three. Now thirty five is interesting. Then if all the numbers from 2 to 8 appeared between 1 and 9, um, that would give 35. And we can tell that because 1 and 9 add up to 10. We know from our killer experiences that 1 to 9 add up to 45. So 35 is the maximum. So that's quite interesting to know. This is quite interesting to know as well, 33, because that must be all the numbers are between the 1 and the 9 except for 2. So in this row, 2 must be on the outside somewhere, and then 9 and 1 must be inside. So 9, given where the 1 is in this box, one of those must be 9, one of these must be 1, um, and 2 must be on the outside of that row somewhere. Now, what else can we deduce early on. This 16 here with the 9 in its row, that is interesting. Now it obviously can't be, the 1 can't be on the right of the 9 because you couldn't fit numbers adding up to 16 between them. So the 1's on the left, um, could it be in this box here? I don't think it could because even if it was as far away from the 9 as here, then the two numbers between would have to add up to 16. They'd have to be 9 and 7, and they can't be a 9 in the same row. So the 1 must be in this box for this row. Can't Look, we've got a 1 there, so it can't be there. If it was there, we'd have 6 numbers between 9 and 1. And to make 16 from 6 different numbers, you'd need to use the 1 again. So it's not there. It must be here. Now that's interesting because... We know that here with 4, it's 1, 4, 9, or 9, 4, 1. And that means this can't be the 9 anymore. So this must be the 9. This must be 1. This must be 2. So we've worked out that, that 33 is resolved now because these numbers must be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in some order, which must add up to 33. Um, now this 8 here is interesting. 1 must, I think, be either here or here. Um, and that must be either 8, or those two cells must add up to 8. Can't be 3, because that would require a 1. 
Um, still don't know which side. Ah, look, we do. This zero is helpful. If it was four nine down here, that zero tells us the one has to be next to the nine. It would have to be in the same box as this one. So that's not where the four nine goes. They must go up here. And this one is a 26, it's not a zero, so that can't be the one at all. The one here must be there. So, we are making some progress now. 17, I think the nine must be either here or in the next cell. I'm not sure which at the moment. Um, that means the nine in, in row six must be either here or here by Sudoku rules and 10 between that and the one. Not sure where that puts the one. It must be in this box though. Um, it can't be further away than this box I don't think. Well it couldn't be in that box anyway because of the one in it. So one's in that box. One here is in this box. Can it be all the way out here? No because 26 Plus 9 plus 1 would be 36. And that would have to be another 9. So the 1 is there. That helps. We've got a 3 down there. That must be a 3. <coughs> now, we've got 10 made up of numbers including a 3. We don't know where the 1 goes here. Um, now, let's keep going with these deductions because they're quite useful. So I might take away the numbers. No, that might be going too far. Oh, look, we've placed that one there. So we, we now know it's an eight between the one and the nine in column one. Um, the nine in column three has to be in this box. Can't be there because of that nine. Must be here because five, <coughs> five cells between the one and the nine would be too many to give 17. So they must add up to 17, 27. Hmm. Now, 24, that's got to put the one here. Um, remember, it can't be in column 7 or 8. Now, if that's 24 plus 9 plus 1 is 34, these two must add up to 11. But we don't know quite in what order they go. But now we've got a 1 here. This can't be a 9, clearly. The 9 here, the 9 in that box must be there. 9 at the top can't be here because we'd have to have 9, 4, 1. That would be in the same box. It must be here. So these add up to 20 plus 9 plus 1 is 30, 38. That must be a 7. These add up to 25, plus 9, plus 1 is 35, plus 2 is 37. The outsides of that column must be 3 and 5 in some order. 1 and 2 are both gone and they add up to 8. Um, 20, 27, so we've resolved that. Right, 17, we haven't quite worked out how that works. 26, we need to make these numbers add up to 26. Is that 8, 7, 6 and 5? Yes, it is. So they're 8, 7, 6. Again, in some order, that makes the ones outside the 9 and 1, 3, 4 and 2. And given that 3 and that 2, we can place them exactly. 2, 9, 4, 1, 3, 5. So next here we are looking to 5, because of the 5 being either there or there, the 5 in this box must be either here or here. Um, 5 in this box must be either, oh, well maybe we can use this 10 now. Now, if there were two more digits it couldn't be 1 and 6 because that would require a 1. It couldn't be 2 and 5 because there's a 5 in this box. And it couldn't be 3 and 4. So there's only one more digit before the 1. That's very helpful. Now we know that can't be the 9. Ooh, 9 must be here. These must be 5, 2, 4, 3. They add up to 14. 
Um, so these must be six, eight, seven. Um, these add up to 17. With the one and the nine outside, that's 27. These three must add up to 18. They involve a five. They must also involve uh, six and seven. So that puts the eight here. This is six or seven. This is six or seven as well. Six and five, nine. So these are three and four because they can't be in this box, and these must be two and eight. Two and eight. One, three, nine, four, that puts seven here. Um, these are six and five, we don't know the order. That must be a two there. Now, which ones haven't we resolved fully? This 17 here. Involves seven. Mm, it's got to be the smallest of these, hasn't it? It's certainly got to be the two because the eight would make it too big. Nine, fourteen. This has to be a three, I think. Ten, twelve, and this must be the five. Otherwise, the two would have been repeated. Okay, so still pretty good progress there. And 33 has been done. Ah, oh, this 4. So that 9. Is that 9 right? Doesn't look right now. No, I don't think that 9 is right. I'm not sure how we got that. So let's take that out. In fact, what we can tell is that that 4 is between 9 and 1. They must both be in this box. So if our other numbers are right, I hope I haven't made any false deductions. It must be 9, 4, 1 in that order. 4 here is there. Um, 6 there. 8 here. I hope this is right. There is a chance that I've made a mistake somewhere by putting a 9 up there. Um, these were going to be 14 between the 1 and the 9. But the 9 is now down here, not where I thought it was before. That must be 6 and 8 between the 9 and the 1. I hope this recovery has worked. 27149. Again, we've done the 4, 33, that 20's effectively done by having put 15 outside it. Ah, oh, 16 here. So that can't be an 8, I don't think. That would be 11. We'd need another 5. That must be the 6, 9, and we need another 7, which must be 2 and 5, like that. That's good, and that 6 has resolved that 6, 7 pair there. These are five, seven in some order. Um, that's the four in this row, and that's the eight. Six, um, that must be seven, one in that order. These must be three and four, but we don't know the order. And now this column is useful, 13 between the nine and the one. Can't be 9, 4, or 7, 6. It must be 5, 8. They must be in that order. Um, and I think we, we've used almost all. This 24 might be useful. Plus the 9 and 1 is 34. These two make 11. That must be 6, 5 to go in this box. And that places the 2 and the 7 at the bottom of it. We're getting a 2 up here. This is 3, 5 in some order. Now we've got a 3, 5 pair at the top there and there, so we can place 7 and 8. It's a 1, 2, 9. Um, now, are there any more we haven't used? We've done that 3. Oh, this 10. 
must be 253. And that should finish us off there, I think. That 3 fixes this 3-5 pair, and that was what we needed to fix a lot of things that were remaining. 3 there, 6, 4, 6. It looks like it has worked, so whatever I did wrong with the 9 in the central column didn't hurt, thank goodness. And that's a reasonably quick finish to what looked like an impossible puzzle, given the few number of givens at the start. But a uh, really nice puzzle, I think, in a way. Some very neat logic to uh, follow through there. I hope you had a go before watching the solve to uh, better appreciate it. That was one of the lovely puzzles from the uh, UK Sudoku Championship. So I hope that helps. Do please subscribe. We love it when you do that. And uh, feel free to sponsor us on Patreon. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.